Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you the glory this afternoon. Hallelujah. We give you the honor this afternoon. Hallelujah. We magnify your name this afternoon. Hallelujah. Our soul longs after you this afternoon. Oh, God. We need you this afternoon. We want you, Masiki, and Masia. We need you, Masia, and Mahaya. We want you, Mando Babosaya. We need you this afternoon. Hey, we want you, Mandi Oshiki, Anasa. We need you, Masia, and Asia. We want you, Yedda Bashia. We need you, Yedda Osaya. Father, we want you, Yedda Basata. Father, we want you, Iki and Ananso. Father, we want you, Yadda Basso Koramasia. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. We need you, Yedamandio Konandaya. We want you, yes, God. Oh, we need you, Mashiandara Bahaya. We want you this afternoon, Ekaya. We open up our spirit. We need you, Mandio Koramandia. We want you, Mandia Saya. We need you, Mando Koya. We want you, Yeshataya. We want you, Yedadabasaya. We want you, Yedadioshikia. We want you, Yedadamandiosha. We want you, yes, God. Our soul needs you, Yedadamasoya. Our hearts want you, yes, Lord. You are our desire. We need you, yes, Shikia, Mamanso. Ah, uh, we want you, yes, Lord. Oh, Rabba Sia, come on, I feel an atmosphere. In an anandio ramaya, eh, shata baba so coramandia. Oh, we need you, Lord. Ishaya da da mandaya. We need you, Lord. Ishaya da da basoya. Oh, we need you, Lord. Ishaya da 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 basiki and da masaya. We need you. Come on, wherever you are, make worship. We need you. This world needs you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Your daughters need you. Your sons need you. We not only need you, we want you. We desire you. You are our desire. I desire. You are our desire. Desire, our desire. God, you are our desire this afternoon. You are our desire this afternoon. You are our desire. You are our desire. You are our desire. Hallelujah. You said if we delight ourselves in you, that you would give us the desires of our heart. God, you are our desire. Our hearts long after you, Father. Our spirit longs after an outpour for you, Father. You are our desire this afternoon, Lord. Oh, God. We come to you this afternoon saying, God, refresh us, restore us, realign us. Hallelujah. Refresh us, restore us, realign us, oh God. Revive us, oh God. We need you this afternoon, God. If you don't do it, it won't be done. Hallelujah. What we need can't come from man, Father. What we need can't come from material what we need can't come from anyone other than you, God. We need an outpour of your spirit. We need an outpour of your glory. We need an outpour. We need an outpour. We need an outpour. 
We need an outpour. We desire an outpour. We desire an outpour. Come on, open your mouth. We desire an outpour. Oh God, we desire an outpour. We ask you this afternoon to purge us. Purge us. Purge us from the inside out. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, everything inside of us, uh, hallelujah, that's not like you. Ah, uh, God, purge us this afternoon, Lord. Get it out of us. Uh, uproot it now, God. Uh, things that are deep on the inside, Lord, uh, that have no business being there, uh, that are interfering, oh, God. Uh, hallelujah, with us receiving. Uh, hallelujah, what you have for us, God. Uproot it even now, Father. In the name of Jesus, as your servant David said, search me, O oh God. Hallelujah. Search me, Lord. This afternoon, that's our desire for you to search us from the inside out. God, search our minds, Father. Search our hearts, O oh God. Search our intentions, O oh God. Search our actions, O oh God. Search our motives, O oh God. Search us this afternoon. Uramamandia, search us this afternoon, O oh God. Hallelujah, correct us, Father. Uramasaya, if we be in error, if there be anything, O oh God, in our lives that are out of order or in error, O oh God, correct us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A Father that loves us, corrects us. O oh God, correct the areas in our lives, Lord. Hallelujah, that are not correct, Lord, that are not your will, God, that are not perfect, Father. Correct us, Father, my shit. Oh God, you chasing those that you love, Father. Correct us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, show us your path, oh God. Show us your way, oh God. Show us, oh God. Hallelujah. Enlighten us this afternoon, God. Take the scales off of our eyes. Take the scales off of our minds. Take the scales off of our understanding. Take the scales off of our perception. Oh God, we want to be in your perfect will, God. Not in your permissive, but your perfect will this afternoon, God. So we ask you to speak, oh God. Come on, so Rebekaya. Speak a word, oh God. Show us, oh God. Your way, teach us. Your ways, oh God. Put a light, be a light unto our path. Hallelujah and a lamp unto our feet, Father. Show us, oh God, your way in this season, Lord. Come on. Come on, come on, press in. I can't do it for you. Oh, Show us your way. Oh God, even as some of us are going through dark seasons, even in the, right now, I see a dark hallway. And some of us are going through a dark hallway right now. God, but we ask you to be a light, oh God. Be a light in dark places, Father. In the name of Jesus, shine a light in dark places, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, shine the light in the dark season, God. Uh, the season where there is no hope, God. Uh, or where we feel, I should say, as though there is no hope. Uh, and where we feel, oh God, trapped in a dark place. Uh, oh God, be a light even now, Father. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the way that you can be, oh God. Uh, be a light in darkness, Father. Uh, be a light in hopelessness. Uh, be a light, oh God. Uh, hallelujah, in depression. Be a light, oh God. Uh, in the hard place, God. You are the light. 
Masa. You are the light, Mashanda de Diasa. You are the light, Mashanda Babosia. And we shall not fear. We will not be afraid. We will not be afraid. You, we will not be afraid because you are the light, God. The light of the world, Mashanda Babosia. So we trust in the light, Yadanabasa. We trust in the light, yes, God. We trust in the light, yes, Shata. We trust in the light, Ekanamasa. We may not have all the details, Father. We may not have everything, oh God, but we have discernment. And we know this afternoon that you are the light of our salvation. Ekanamasa. You are my Shiananabosia, our strength. Ayanasia, you are our strength. Hallelujah. You are our strength. Ayanabosia, you are our light. And you are our strength. Ayanamasia. Yes, you are this afternoon. Hallelujah. You are, oh God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Yes, God. You are our light in our strength. The Lord is the light and my strength. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life and whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemy came to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell though a host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear though war should rise against me. In this one thing will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. What is the house of the Lord? It's the place where his presence is. There's battle, there's safety in the house of the Lord. There's a refuge in the house of the Lord. There's a presence in the house of the Lord. Even if I'm not in a physical building, I shall dwell in the house. I shall dwell in the house. There's safety in the house. There's safety in the house. I'm dwelling in the house. I dare you to declare that I'm dwelling in the house. 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 I am dwelling in the house. To dwell means to live in. So I'm not just visiting in the house, but I'm living in the house. And if I'm living in the house, then I'm continually in a place of his presence. If I'm living in his house, I'm continually in a place of safety. It's not about no building. But when I walk out my house, I'm still in the house. Because I've made him, hallelujah, my dwelling place. Still in the house. I'm still in the house. I'm dwelling in the house. Ah, when I leave my home, I'm still in the house. Ah, because I've made him, Ashaya, a living place in my temple. Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, Hoshaya the Messiah, it's the place where he lives, the house, hallelujah, so wherever I go, my body, hallelujah, is the house, Hoshaya the Messiah, because he lives in me. For those that are can't make it to church and church is still closed down, your temple, this is the house. And you got to keep, hallelujah, your temple clean so that he can dwell. 
Ayana Masia. Hallelujah. So we thank you. Hallelujah. That you are our light. You are our Mashia, our salvation. Hallelujah. We bind the spirit of fear this afternoon. We bind the spirit of fear. We bind the Come on, pray with intensity. Uh, we bind the spirit of fear that's loosed in the land. Hallelujah. From COVID. Hallelujah. To now this new swine flu. To whatever else they're going to come up with. Oh, We bind the spirit of fear. We bind the spirit of fear. That's circulating through media. We bind the spirit of fear. We defy it even now. We defy the spirit of fear. We will not live in fear. Hallelujah. We will not live in fear. Hallelujah. We will not live in fear. We defy fear this afternoon. We defy it. We defy it. We defy fear right now. Uramasia, fear of sickness. We defy it right now. Uramakayananso. We defy fear right now. Fear, hallelujah, of even instability. Hallelujah, because of joblessness and fear, because of instability with money. Hallelujah, and they're not being enough. The devil is a liar. We defy fear. We defy fear this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is our source. Hey, he's our source. He's our source. Hallelujah. The Lord is our source. Hallelujah. He is our source. He is our source. And my God shall supply all my needs. According to his riches in glory, he is our source this afternoon. We don't live in fear, fear of insufficiency, fear of, 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 of no money, fear of no food, fear. We don't live in fear. We defy fear this afternoon and we quote the word that the Lord is our source just like he provided, hallelujah, manna for the children of Israel just like he provided uh, ravens, hallelujah, to provide food for Elijah just as he took fish and loaves of bread and multiplied it, uh, hallelujah. He is our source. We are living. Hallelujah. We are living with the understanding that our source is not in man. Our source is not in corporate America. Our source is not in unemployment, but our source is God. Hallelujah. He is the one that produces. He is the one that releases. He is the one that replenishes. He is the source of our stability. So we trust you this afternoon. Hey, glory to God. We trust you this afternoon for being our source. We trust you this afternoon for being our source. Hallelujah. We trust you this afternoon. Yes, for being our source. We trust you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Even in this season, O oh God, we trust you. Hallelujah. We trust you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We trust you, O oh God. We trust you. We trust you. Hallelujah. Not just in word, not just on Facebook Live. Hallelujah. Not just when it's time to, to uh, uh, perform. Hallelujah. Or time to be the strong person. But in our private time, God, we declare and decree that we trust you. Uh, when bills are due, Father, and we don't have the finances, we trust you. 
and we declare that it's God's bill, he'll pay it. Hallelujah. We trust you, Father. Hallelujah. In relation to our credit card bills, Father, and to our, our rent, Father, and to all of the, the car notes and everything that we have, oh God. Hallelujah. We declare and decree that we are not living in a setback, but a set up. We declare and decree that there is no setback. Hallelujah. But God, you are setting us up. We declare and decree that we are not in a setback, Father, but that you are setting us up huh? and you are bringing all of the components together huh? and you are aligning us, oh God, huh? because the steps of a good man are ordered by you. Huh? Hallelujah. And we understand that if we walk with you, huh? that you will order our steps, God. Huh? So we don't, we don't look at this, huh? hallelujah, as just something that's happening, oh God, huh? but we look at it, hallelujah, as our steps being ordered. Huh? So we incline our ear, oh God, to your voice. Huh? Hallelujah for the instructions uh, concerning this season, God. We incline our ear to you once again. Huh? Hallelujah to hear. Huh? Hallelujah what it is that the Spirit is saying to us concerning our now. Huh? We incline our ear again. Huh? Some of us have been distracted, Father. Some of us have been in a place, huh? hallelujah, where we've been lethargic because of the pandemic and our motivation huh? and our strength has been depleted huh? and we have not felt like doing anything huh? and we've been drained father and we've been overwhelmed huh? but right now God in the name of Jesus huh? we realign ourselves oh come on tell him huh? we realign ourselves father huh? we realign ourselves God come on huh? we realign ourselves oh yeah, the Lord says some of y'all are off track huh? and need an alignment we realign ourselves huh? our attention spans huh? we realign our attention huh? we realign our focus huh? we realign our prayer lives huh? we realign our desires huh? we realign ourselves back into the will of God I don't hear nobody praying Come on here. We realign ourselves. We realign ourselves. God, we ask you even now, Lord. Hallelujah. We reconnect. We reconnect. I'm going to be honest. I see it like a cell phone when AT&T shuts you off. Many of you all have been shut off for the last couple of months. You've been shut off. But the Lord says that right now in this moment, it's time to reconnect. The window is open. The time is now for the reconnection. Come on in here, Zion. I know what I'm talking about. Many of you have been off track. And he's calling you back. To reconnect. Not to a level one, but back to the level you were at. Hallelujah. We're not going to keep going through cycles starting at level one. But go back to level eight. Go back to level nine. Reconnect. Time to reconnect. We don't want to miss the second half of this year. Because we were so distracted with the first half. Hallelujah. Only those that are focused that will thrive in what we're in. Only those that are focused. Hallelujah, focused, 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 and not easily distracted or swayed by their emotions, easily distracted and swayed by how they feel. Those will be the ones to accomplish 
Hallelujah. What the will of God is for their life in this season, this year. Hallelujah. It's not going to be easy the way that it's been in previous years. Hallelujah. But there are forces that you're going to have to fight through in this season to accomplish and to meet deadlines. There were times and seasons, hallelujah, where deadlines were easier to meet. Hallelujah. But you're going to have to push your way through. Hallelujah. To meet your deadlines. Deadlines. You're going to have to push your way through. Uh, hallelujah. To carry out the assignment, you're going to have to push your way through. Uh, hallelujah. It's no longer easy. Uh, hallelujah. But it's going to require work in this season. Uh, hallelujah. You're going to have to work. You got to fight for it. Oh, You're going to have to fight for it. There are some of you that are behind and were things you were supposed to push out at the top of this year. And you're behind. God said you're going to have to push. Push past your emotions. Push past your tiredness. Push past the distractions. Push past your household. Push your way into purpose. How? You're going to have to push your way through purpose. Oh! This is why we charge up because you've got to fight. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. You are dealing with regional principalities that are sitting over your region that have come to disrupt, come to distract, come to release a spirit in the region. You've got to fight. Get out your bed, Iandama Siando Koshaya. Get off your couch, Orama Sataya Get off of your social media and your Instagram. Hallelujah. And begin to fight for what belongs to you. Orama Sataya Nanan Siki Andamasaya. I said, fight for what belongs to you. Oh, I hear the Lord say there's a portion that belongs to you. And the enemy will have you content in a place that's not your portion. But you in this season got to fight for your portion. Caleb said, give me my mountain. I'm well able to receive it. You've got to fight for your portion. Fight for your portion. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. You've got to fight for it. Ah, cause there's somebody else that wants it. But you cried too long and for too many years to not receive what belongs to you. Don't you let this pandemic rob you of purpose. Don't you let this pandemic rob you of your promise. Don't you let this pandemic rob you of your portion. Give me what belongs to me. Shake te basata. The business belongs to me. The clientele belongs to me. The opportunity belongs to me. The initiative belongs to me. It's got my name on it. There are things that have your name on it. That you've been given away. 
You have left it on the ground, says the Lord. And others have picked it up. It has your name on it. The Lord said, go get what belongs to you. Woo, lift your hands. Receive the strength right now. Oh, God, forgive us even now. For being concerned with the things of the world. Forgive us, oh God, for being more concerned with the things of the world than the reason why we were even put here. We were created to carry out and accomplish the will of God in the earth realm. Forgive us, oh God, for being self-consumed. Oh God, realign our minds, realign our wills, God. Realign our focus so that we can go after her. Hallelujah. Our purpose and our portion. This half I'm going after my purpose and my portion. I said this year, this second half of this year, I'm going after my purpose and my portion. We play too long. The second half of this year is about your purpose and your portion. Oh, glory to God. Going after our portion. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forgive us, oh God. We don't want to be like Esau. Just giving away. Hallelujah. Our inheritance. Hallelujah for something that gratifies our flesh. Oh, komanda ya na se shikaya basora mahaya labaha. Don't you give away your inheritance for something that gratifies your flesh. Ora bakaya rabashaya. Don't you trade your inheritance. Ikaya na soko nasia. For something to gratify your flesh. Urabasia for a relationship. Kuramakaya rabasia. Several of y'all are talking to people you have no business in communication with. O Kurabashiki Anansia. So Rebekaya Nabasokta. Shedebeki andala bahaya namansoya. Don't you trade your anointing. Ikaya nanan so ramahaya. Don't you try shata. Don't you trade your anointing and your inheritance. Hallelujah for something for the for the for the second half of the year <clears throat> for a phone conversation for a dinner for a text for some summer love hallelujah hallelujah when there's something with your name on it, on it waiting for you and you don't have to compromise to get it Hallelujah. That's not just relationship opportunity. There are people that you do business with. That you know you have no business doing business with, connecting with. Hallelujah. Just for opportunity. You've got to wait for God's opportunity. Shanda Babahaya. God's opportunity. God's opportunity. Don't trade. Your inheritance, hallelujah, for something momentary. 
Hallelujah. Don't trade what God has given you. Hallelujah. What you inherited. Hallelujah. Just for something for the moment. Hallelujah. Just for a check lying on your taxes. Hallelujah. Lying. Hallelujah. With SBA loans. Just for something for a moment. We've got to walk upright. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Ha, ah, blameless above reproach. Hallelujah. God heighten our Hallelujah. Our conviction. Oh God, heighten our conviction. Hallelujah. Our convictions. Oh Our convictions, Father. Oh Our convictions. God, restore the conviction we had when we first met you. Restore the conviction, God, that we had when we first were filled with your Holy Spirit. God, restore the conviction huh, that we had the places that we would not go huh, the things that we would not do huh, to protect and hallelujah cherish the anointing huh, to protect and cherish huh, the relationship that we had with you oh God huh, restore our conviction huh, to the place where it needs to be come on in here and pray huh, restore our conviction God huh, God heighten it even now father huh, in the name of Jesus huh, that when we do a thing to a person we can't sleep until we apologize. That when we lie, oh God, we can't move forward or sleep until we correct it. In the name of Jesus, oh God, restore, heighten our conviction. The conviction that if we're nasty to somebody, we got to go back and apologize. That conviction that we once had, oh God, Restore it. Restore it, Father. Restore the conviction on the inside. Hallelujah. Restore our conviction. I don't know, this word keeps coming before me. We bind bitterness. Shake de be kora basa ya la baha, so re be ki anana baso kore ke she, sande de de be si anana baha ya anana baso ramahaya. Bitterness is brewing in somebody's heart. Ika tanan so re be ki anantaya. We bind bitterness this afternoon. I andala bashi andala baho saya. Even though you've drank from the bitter cup, hallelujah, it don't have to be in you. I shake de de be so da baha, anana basa. Even though you've drank from a bitter cup, it doesn't mean that that bitterness has to live inside of you. We uproot bitterness this afternoon. It is the intent of the enemy. Hallelujah. To have bitterness to brew on the inside. As you begin thinking, hallelujah, about the cup that you drank and the things that you've gone through, the more you begin to think about about that thing and reflect in your mind it begins to build a bitterness on the inside we bind bitterness towards family we bind bitterness to spouses bitterness oh god to bosses bitterness oh god regarding all of the different things oh god hallelujah this afternoon we uprooted you have no place We bind the bitterness that's hidden. The bitterness that's hidden on the inside. Ah, from childhood, bitterness. Hallelujah. From family not being supportive. 
bitterness, Father. Hallelujah, from words that were spoken, and mean statements that were made bitterness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, from even the season that we're in right now, and some think that they should be further, and some feel that, they, that, that, that they're just in a place, hallelujah, where there's no relief or release. We bind bitterness concerning the season. In the name of Jesus, we bind bitterness. Hallelujah. The thing that makes us mean, the thing that makes us irritated, the thing that causes us, hallelujah, to be slick out of the mouth, the thing that gives us no patience, the bitterness on the inside. Hallelujah. We release it. We release it. Come on. We release it now. We release it. Ah, the hidden things. Hadarasia, the hidden things that we smile over. The things we're smiling over. And it's growing on the inside. The arts that keep growing. We take the mask off this afternoon. We take the mask off this afternoon and we expose that area and we say, Father, get it out of us. Get it out of us, God. We don't want it anymore. We don't want it anymore. We don't want it anymore. God, we want to live in your peace. We want to live in your joy. We want to live in your strength. We want to live in your plan, God. Get it out of us. So Shamasia. Deliver us from bitterness. Those that have had to put in more work. Hallelujah. Those that have been overworked. Hallelujah. Those that have been used, Father. Hallelujah. Those, yes, God, who shot Hallelujah. That have not been appreciated. Hallelujah. And they've smiled on top of it. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask you to purge them. God, wash us. Make us clean. 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 Make us clean this afternoon. Make us clean. Ah, make us clean this afternoon, Father. Wash us, God. Wash us, God. Wash us, God. Wash us, God. We don't want to worship, hallelujah, on top of bitterness. We don't want to praise you on top of unresolved issues, Father. God, we want to worship you as clean vessels. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us from our minds. From our minds. The war. In our mind, our mental war that's going on, oh God. Hallelujah. The fight within us, that people are not privy to. The fight that is going on in our minds, oh God. The war going on in our members, Father. In the name of Jesus, deliver us. 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 Deliver us, God. We thank you for the refreshing. Hallelujah. We thank you for the refreshing. We thank you for the refreshing. Hallelujah. We thank you for the refreshing. Hallelujah. Even when I came into my office, hallelujah, and I opened up my Bible, this, this verse was right here. I was doing something on my phone, and I looked down. Hallelujah. And Isaiah 43 was open. <clears throat> and I hadn't been reading it. Hallelujah. But it was right open. And verse 15 says, I am the Lord, your holy one, Israel's creator and king. This is the NLT. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. I called forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned. Their lives snuffed out like a smoldering candle wick. But forget all of that. It's nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Hoshama 
Hamasia. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The wild animals in the field will thank me, the jackals and owls too, for giving them water in the desert. Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland so my chosen people can be refreshed. I prophesy that the second half of this year that you are going to be refreshed. The word refresh means to give new strength or energy. Hallelujah. In this season, God, God's about to refresh you. Another definition of the word refresh, hallelujah, means to revise or update. God is about to update you. God is about to revise and update you. You didn't even understand or realize that the things that you had to go through this year were for revisions and updates. The things that you had to go through this year that changed you, you thought it was changing you for the worse, but it was changing you for the better. God was updating and revising you. Hey, Shonda Namasia, who I am is not who I was at the top of the year. And where I am is not where I was. But there is a gradual process going. There is a refreshing happening. Hallelujah. It's like when you refresh a screen and you update it. It's Shonda Namasia. Hallelujah. When it's 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 on the, 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 the thing that's happening where you can't move to the next thing because it's stuck. And then you hit refresh and it gets to where it's supposed to be. God is about to get you to where you're supposed to be by the second half of this year. Hallelujah. Some of you were stuck on a stuck screen, but God said in this season, I'm refreshing, I'm updating, and when you look at the end of the year, you will not be who you were, you will not be where you were, but you will be an updated, revised form of yourself, and God God is getting ready to shoot you to the next place. I said he's shooting you to the next place. I said he's shooting you to the next place. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I've been updated. You need to declare that out of your mouth. I've been updated. I've been updated. I started January as a Moria. Now I'm a Wilson. I've been updated. Some of you started at one job the top of the year, and God's about to update you at the end of the year. Some of you began something at the top of the year, and it was Stuck, but once that refreshing happens, uh, hallelujah, you're going to be in another place. Somebody shout, update me, Lord. Update me, Lord. The version of me is, is, is dated. Hallelujah. But there's a new thing that you want to accomplish in my life. I've been this version for too long. Hallelujah. It's like on your iPhone. You can't even download certain apps. There are certain downloads you can't even get until you update. And the Lord says in this season, you've been trying to get downloads. But you're an expired version of yourself. God says, come up in this season and be refreshed and updated. Update me, Lord. Update me. Update me. Update me. I don't want to be stuck, Father. I don't want to be stuck in an expired version of me. I don't want to be stuck where you were and not where you are. I don't want to be stuck, Father, in the last season, but update and refresh me.
Refresh me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Refresh me, Holy Spirit. Refresh me, Holy Spirit. Refresh me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Refresh me, Holy Spirit. We can't stay stuck. Hallelujah. We can't stay stuck where we were, but refresh. Refresh us, oh God. Update us, Lord. Hallelujah. Many of us, our focus has been off, Father, but update us, Holy Spirit. We don't want to be stuck in the version. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We don't want to be stuck, oh God. Hallelujah. We don't want to be stuck in the version of ourself, oh God, uh, that you planned and ordained for 2017 and 2016. Uh, hallelujah. Some of us are stuck in the version of ourself, uh, our 2015 version, uh, and our 2016 version, uh, and our 2017 version. Uh, and God is saying, you've got to update for the 2020 version. Uh, Eyes have not seen nor have ears heard, uh, neither has it entered into the heart of man, uh, what God has in store for you, uh, and even the version of you uh, that he is unveiling and revealing in this season, uh, but you've got to refresh. Glory to God. Shout out about see up. Hold on, I even hear the Lord say, you've got to release the version of you. Come some of you want people to see you in your 2020 version, huh? but you have not let go of your 2015 version huh? and your 2014 version huh? and your 2017 version. Huh? You've got to discard it. You've got to discard the old version. Because see, when you have two versions, Hallelujah. Even when you revise a file or revise a document, when you have two versions of that thing on your laptop, huh, you get confused uh, about which one is supposed to be opened. Uh, and many of you are going back and forth from old versions to the new version, old version to the new version. Things get rough. I'm going to go back and revert to the old version. Huh, and then things get good. And then I go to the new revision. Huh? Hallelujah. But God says, get rid of the old version and stick with the new revision. God said you can't afford it. Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord says stop going back to old versions of yourself to fit. Hallelujah. How you feel. He said, stop going back to old versions of yourself to fit how you feel. Stick with the new revision. Hallelujah. Because there's purpose on the revision. Ah, there's deliverance on the revision. Hallelujah. There's strategy on the revision. Hallelujah. You just got to carry it out. Hallelujah. You've got to carry it out. You've got to discard it, throw it, throw it in the trash. Hallelujah. Everything that comes with that old version has to be trashed. Hallelujah. That means there's people, there's contacts on that version. Hallelujah. There's responses. There might be cuss words on that version. You've got to discard it. You've got to discard it and stick with the new revision. So God, I thank you. I cover each person that's on this prayer. We thank you for the word of the Lord. God, we don't take it for granted. You just, you don't even have to speak, but you do. And we thank you for it, Father. We thank you for your continual instruction during prayer, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hear through preaching, God, but there's a certain kind of instruction that you give us in prayer, God. And we thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. 
for the prophetic impartations that you constantly give us, God. Hallelujah. As we seek your face, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we become, hallelujah, that as we not pray, but that we become people of prayer, that we become people of intercession, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We give you glory in Jesus' name. God, let it permeate the hearts of every person listening and on the call and on the Facebook. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let it sit in their spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you glory, honor, and praise. It is so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. For those that are uh, that have not taken the uh, GLAM mentorship, I'm going to open that up. Hallelujah. Um, probably for the month of uh, either August or September, probably September. So registration will be up. Also, I'm thinking I'm praying on it, but I may be doing a glam event in Atlanta in September. Um, so stay, stay, um, uh, connected, um, on our, our email, our email, uh, list on, uh, glamempowerment.com. Um, so that you can have details for that. Even if I think the capacity right now in Atlanta is 50 people. Um, and so I think that it's time. So I love you all. Y'all be blessed. Go in peace.